In this video, we'll learn to work out percentages of amounts and express one amount as a percentage of another. So we'll start first with working out percentages of amounts. I've represented here 60% of 58. As you can see, I've split 58 into 10 equal parts and I've highlighted six of them because that represents 60% of 58 in this case. So one way to work this out would be to divide 58 by 10 so we get 10 percent and then multiply it by 6 so we get in total 60 percent so that's one way so 58 divided by 10 which would give us 5.8 and then go and multiply 5.8 by 6 which is 34.8. So that is 60% of 58. This is one way of working out. Another way of working it out would be to divide 58 by 100. So we get a tiny amount, 1%, and then multiply it by 60. So 58 divided by 100 gives us... 0.58 and then we multiply it by 60 to make it to 60%. So 0.58 times 60 gives us 34.8. So it gives us the same answer. Now another way of working it out, because there are many different ways, would be to go right 60%. I want to work out 60%. So 60% means 60 out of 100. So I'll go 60 out of 100 off 58. So off means multiplication. So 60 divided by 100 times 58. And that again gives us 34.8. So that's another way. Again, 60% is 60 out of 100 which is 60 divided by 100 of 58 multiplied by 58 and very close linked to this is another way of working this out because 60 out of 100 we should know it's 60 percent and as a decimal we write it 0 0.6 or 0 0.60 and then going back to this multiplied by 58 so this is a good calculator method and it gives us 34.8 again so all these methods give us the same answer so these are some different methods of working out and there are definitely more methods than these and i'm showing these to you so that you can pick the method that you like to use yourself so now we'll pick another example just to illustrate so let's say we want to work out 32 percent of 152 so again 32 percent let's follow this method so we said we divided by 10 first so we find 10 percent so 152 divided by 10 gives us 15.2 so we've got 10 percent now we'll get 30 by multiplying this by 3 so 15.2 times 3 that is 45.6 so i've got 30 percent now I just need 2%. So if I find 1%, I can double it and add it on top of this. So 1% will be found by dividing this by 100. So that's a very tiny amount there. Um, so 152 divided by 100, that gives 1.52. And I need another lot of 1.52 to make 2%. So that is 4 and that is 10, so 3.04, which I need to 
3.04 needed to add to the 30% which was 45.6 so added these together then we get 48.64 so this is a good mental method if you have a calculator if you can use a calculator then definitely it's good to know this method but not the easiest to work out when you have a calculator so definitely a mental method now the other one was this which is more like a calculator method so we said we the total we divide by 100 and then we multiply by how many percent we want so i would go now 152 divided by 100 so that gives me one percent which is 1.52 and then get that 1.52 and multiply it by 32 because i want 32 percent times 32 so 1.52 times 32 should give us the same answers what we had before so it is 48.64 so we've got the second method now we'll try this one here so we said we want 32 percent so that's 32 out of 100 of 152 so times 152 so that straight away gives us the answer which is 48.64 and linked to this was the other method where we got we know straight away that 32 divided by 100 is 0 0.32 times 152 gives us 48.64 so this has explored quite a few methods we've got one two three four methods of working out percentages of amounts now let's express this amounts as a percentage of 58 and 152 so let's take the first example first so it was 34.8 out of 58 so we write that as 34.8 out of 58 what does that give me 38 34.8 sorry divided by 58 that gives us 0 0.6 so can you see that link now that's the decimal and to turn it into a percentage we've said we look at the two digits after the decimal point so this is 60% and it matches exactly what we had to begin with so 34.8 out of 58 is 60% of 58 and the other example we had the amount was 48.64 so 48.64 out of 152 and we said that line means division so i'll go 48.64 divided by 152 that gives me 0 0.32 so that is the decimal how do we turn that into a percentage? We look at the two digits after the decimal point. So that is 32%. And that is exactly what we had to begin with. So we worked out 32% of 152. That was 48.64. Now we're reversing the process. We had 48.64 out of the total 152 which gave us 
percent. So to work out one amount or express one amount as a percentage of another, get that amount out of the total or the other amount, which means we're dividing. And then you get the decimal. Through the decimal, you move to the percentage, just like in the examples given here.